Portland State is hosting more than 400 middle school girls for a conference in science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM, as you know it, Ashley is live from there. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. So let's just take a quick look behind me. It looks a little empty, right? That's just because all the girls are going to be signing up between now and 10. But we wanted to be in this room here at Sac State because we wanted to show really how large in number this is going to be. The tables are empty with white tablecloths, but soon enough it will be filled with anxious and excited young girls um, ready to learn about science and math. I have Terry here with me. Now you guys, this is called Expanding Your Horizons. This conference has been going on uh, for how long now? We started in 2007, and I'm a member of Women of AT&T, and we're a nonprofit community service kind of organization. And so we have hosted this STEM conference here since 2007 at Sac State. And when I say STEM, that stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And the reason we've chosen middle school girls to come to this, like almost 400 will be here today. Yeah, yeah. The reason we've chosen middle school age is we want them to get interested in math and science before they're even choosing their classes in high school or what they want to major in in college or possibly have as a career after college. Absolutely. And so they're going to come here uh, to the ballroom first. They'll be checking in. We have a couple of keynote speakers and then they'll be attending workshops after that. Fantastic. So, Terry, what I want to do is I want to walk outside to the lobby because, we'll, again, give us an idea of how many people will be signing up. Now, also, uh, Tina and Camby, i got to say for the viewers, I love the song that's playing. That is Beyonce. Who run the world? Girls, we do run the world. Okay, so this is um, where everyone is starting to sign up. Once again, we're talking 400 young girls. Now, I want to talk about statistics because I recently read that those with the technology background, the numbers when it comes to job careers between now and 2030 are through the roof. Is that yeah. true? Not only are they through the roof, but we also continue, women continue to be underrepresented in some of the science and engineering careers. So that's why we want to catch these girls early, show them that science and math can be fun. So we've got workshops like they're going to learn how to make ice cream with liquid nitrogen and blow up stuff in the chemistry <laughs> lab. They're going to put on lab coats yes. and goggles. They're going to learn about the strawberry, the DNA of a straw, yes. strawberry and um, magic tricks using card decks and knowing math and how they can do magic so tricks exciting. and how mathematics makes that work. I mean, you, you know, we always say, like, it starts young, it starts early. Like you said, you want to grab them at the age that they are now. Thank you so much for everything you do. Um, what's your website so people could get more um, information on the organization and what exactly you guys do? Uh, it is, let me turn it over here. It's expanding your horizons, and that's actually a national program. Okay. Our information is at www.cce.csus. Dot edu dash eyh. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, guys, Tina and Kimby, there it is. Starting young. Who run the world? Girls. We do. All there right. you go. That's also you. who Thank runs you, this show. <laughs>